In today's video, we're going to talk about what the best life insurance company in Canada is. So I get asked this question quite often, like, well, what's the best life insurance company in Canada if I'm applying for myself or if my wife is applying or my husband is applying? Which company is the best? Which one should I pick? And in this video, I'm going to actually describe how you can vet out the different companies and find which one would be best for you. But I mean, if you did a quick Google search, you'll see there's a lot of biases in the industry and just on search engines where, you know, top life insurance company in Canada is the one that pays to be on the top results of Google. So in this video, I'm really going to break down how you can research which one is best for you. And by the end of this video, you'll know exactly which life insurance company is best and which one you should apply for for your life insurance. What's up, guys? For those of you who do not know me, my name is Philip Setter. I'm the founder and CEO of Affinity Life, which is an online life insurance brokerage here in Canada, where you can actually view quotes 100% online and compare different companies and actually apply 100% online as well. No need for an advisor to come to your house or do a Zoom meeting or anything like that. It's all done digitally. So if that sounds interesting to you, I'll put the link in the description below and you can check that out. But without further ado, let's get right into the video. So I'm not going to put any company names or any descriptions or share my screen and show you a few of the things that I found. But I mean, it's not hard. If you just Google top life insurance companies or what's the best life insurance company in Canada, you will clearly start to find some biases where you'll go to a website and I'm not going to say any names, but of course it'll say, okay, well, what's the best life insurance from, you know, ABC Insurance Co.? Well, of course, it turns out ABC Insurance Co. is the best life insurance. So, I mean, right off the bat, there's just a lot of biases when it comes to, okay, what is the best life insurance company? So Googling it really doesn't give you a lot of information that way. Another thing too to keep in mind is it also depends on what type of life insurance you're looking for. So of course we know that there's term life insurance and I'll just give you a quick recap here. Term life insurance is really meant to cover you for a specific period of time. You can choose the different term, maybe a term 10, a term 20, a term 30. It typically expires at the end of the term. It's relatively inexpensive, incredibly inexpensive, especially if you're young. And it's really just used to cover you for a specific period of time when your family is most at risk. So I mean, that's probably most Canadians that are, you know, 20, 30, 40 years old. They have a family, they have kids, they have a partner, they have a house, you know, they have these different payments, car payments, mortgages, etc., that they need to take care of. And if they were to pass away, well, then there would be a great financial crater that's in that family and their income would need to be replaced for that time period. Permanent life insurance, on the other hand, is different. It's not meant to cover you for a specific period of time. It's definitely meant to cover you until death. Permanent life insurance is more used as an estate planning tool or if you wanted to leave something behind like an inheritance to your children or grandchildren. That's the main purpose of permanent life insurance is really estate planning, maybe taxes upon death or passing something down. Now, you may have heard before, well, maybe you should invest in life insurance. Maybe that's a good way to both save for your retirement and cover you for that period of time, like I mentioned with term. And I will say this, I think for the vast majority of Canadians, it's an incredibly bad idea. There's so many strings attached to this strategy. There's so many things that can go wrong. And when you compare it apples to apples to just a traditional RRSP strategy, just invest in your RSP, do whatever type of investment, it really falls apart. I mean, there's so much simplicity in RSP that if you haven't maxed out your registered account, such as your RSP and your TFSA, it doesn't make sense. For the minority of Canadians that have everything maxed out, they don't have any high high interest debt. And sure, they have some extra cash lying around. These are the high income earners of Canada. It may be a good idea. But for the vast majority of Canadians, I think term is the best idea. And by the way, if you want to see actual comparisons, apples to apples, RSP versus a investing in life insurance strategy, just drop a comment below and just ask for the video and I will drop it in the comments. Um, no problem. So getting back to which life insurance company is the best life insurance company here in Canada. Well, I mean, again, it depends on so many different factors. Factors. You can't just have a one size fits all answer for everybody. So just like previously mentioned, I mean, there's term life insurance and there's permanent life insurance. And with that, there's companies that make really good term products. And then there's companies that make really good permanent life insurance products. So there's no one size fits all answer for those different products. Now, to take that one step further, there's also your specific variables to keep in mind. So for example, some insurance companies will have specific rate bands that have the best and most preferential rates for that specific person. So what I mean by that is maybe one company has the best rates in Canada for male non-smoker 
worker individuals that are aged 25 to 34. This is just an example, okay? Well, maybe that one company dominates in this one rate brand, that rate band, pardon me. They're the best out there, most preferential rate, good company. However, maybe 35 to 44, that's where they really start to fall apart and they're incredibly expensive. And so this one company might be the best for this one specific age, but they're not the best for all these other specific ages. So saying that this one company is the best in Canada is a little bit disingenuous. Other factors that can really affect what the best company, what the best life insurance company in Canada would be for you is other things such as maybe lifestyle decisions and your health. So maybe you're engaged in some type of extreme sports such as extreme hobbies like ice climbing, rock climbing, mountaineering, paragliding, something like that. Well, then there's specific companies that are really good for that genre of people. Maybe you have some adverse health conditions. Maybe you have type 2 diabetes or other health conditions. Well, then there's other companies that are very specific and probably most preferential for that subset of people. So again, it's really hard to give this one size fits all best life insurance company here in Canada. Now, I'm just going to say a couple things about how insurance works in Canada, just so you can get a little bit better idea of how the life insurance companies operate and kind of which ones you're working with. So this is how it kind of plays out here in Canada. About 90% of the companies in Canada, life insurance companies that is, operate through what's known as a broker channel, okay? So what this means is none of them really sell direct to the consumer. So if you wanted to go out and you wanted to get a policy from let's say RBC Insurance, okay? Well, you can't go directly to RBC Insurance and get a policy. If you contacted them, they would actually put you in touch with a broker, but it's not someone that works directly for RBC. So how it works is you go through this broker channel where in individuals and companies such as Affinity Life has access to multiple different companies and you can pick and choose well maybe this one would be best for this person maybe this one would be best for this person maybe this one would be best for this other person and you have access to all these different companies and like I mentioned it's about 90% of the companies here in Canada now with that being said the other 10% of companies is what I call captive companies and so what this kind of means is that it's an insurance company but they don't go through the broker channel so what they do is either a a, have their own agents that go out and sell the insurance, or B, it's a direct-to-consumer model. So there are some online insurance companies here in Canada where it's not a brokerage model, it's just they have one product and it's sold directly to the consumer. And here's the problem with that. Like I mentioned previously in this video, when you have so many of those variables that really determine what the best company is, now you're trapped or you're locked in to this one specific company's product. So again, maybe it's gonna be really good for this one individual, but maybe for another individual, it's not going to be good at all. And the problem with working with some type of captive life insurance company is really you're only going to see their products. So if you don't fit into their preferential rating or you're not the right category, well, too bad. I mean, that's the product you're going to get. They don't sell anything else. And if you think that this company is going to say, oh, hold on, we're not the best fit for you. You should probably check this other company out where we don't make any money. I mean, you're totally wrong. They're obviously going to sell their product, whether or not it's the best fit for you. So that's really the other 10%. So 90% of companies companies go through the broker channel, 10% of the companies go through this captive channel, meaning they have their own agents or they sell directly to the consumer model, pardon me. Now, regardless of which company you choose, at the end of the day, all insurance companies across Canada are regulated the exact same way. And insurance is heavily regulated here in Canada. So not only do they have to have specific reserves on hand, which is how much cash they have on hand for how many life and how many policies they have outstanding, they also have something known as a service. So even if by chance an insurance company did go bankrupt for whatever reason, there's another company called Asuris, which actually insures insurance companies. So it's a little bit complicated, but it's essentially another company that monitors insurance companies. And if anything did go wrong and they did go bankrupt and they went under, then this company would pick up all the policies of those individuals. So at the end of the day, the actual contract of life insurance is really going to be the same in its fundamental regard of will it pay out? Yes. Is it going to go bankrupt? Probably not. But if it does, it's still protected and you still have your policy. So if that's one of the concerns that you had about searching for the best life insurance company, that's simply not one of them because they're all playing by the same rules and they're all heavily regulated and they're all around the same field in that regard. 
Okay, so with all that being said, I will give you a few companies of my choosing that I really like to work with in various different regards, depending on, again, your age, your risk category, maybe some other lifestyle decisions you have. However, here's just a quick list of them. So if you're looking for strictly term life insurance and otherwise you're a healthy individual, my four main picks for term life insurance, and this goes back to not only just really good options, really good customer service, but also they're relatively the most inexpensive across all rate bands for all different consumers is RBC Insurance, BMO Insurance, Manulife, and Industrial Alliance. Those four companies, I would say, from a rate band point of view and, and pricing, as well as customer service, are the best companies for term life insurance, if that's what you're looking for, term life insurance. If you're looking for permanent life insurance, there's really two companies that I would recommend. Although, I mean, the other companies are really great as well. Um, but I would put these two in my top permanent life insurance companies. And it just goes back to um, a couple of things with permanent life insurance. One is past dividend scale or dividend performance. And that just means what the insurance company has been able to earn over the last 100 years and what they're able to return to their participating policyholders. So these two companies, I would put number one is equitable at the top. They're a mutual company, meaning that it's owned by the policyholders and it's not owned by stock stockholders. It's not a public company or anything like that. It's actually when you buy a policy, you own part of the company. So I would put Equitable Life at number one. And then number two, this might be a surprise. However, if you're a smoker and you're looking for permanent life insurance, Forrester's Life, I would say, has the best program for smokers. They actually give you a two-year non-smoker rate. And this is an opportunity for you to actually quit smoking if that's one of your goals. However, I think you know that's a good thing to try and strive for. If you wanted to quit smoking for a while now, this is a good incentive to get you there. So how that works is they will actually give you the non-smoking rate for two years and you need to be nicotine free for one year to continue to qualify for this. So it's kind of the first year is a freebie. It says, no problem, you can continue to smoke for this year. And then after the first year, you need to quit smoking altogether. So it gives you a little bit of time to prepare and get ready and get a plan in place and maybe start to wean off within that first year. And then you need to be nicotine free for the next year total, 12 months. And then at the end of that, you can keep your non-smoker rate and it doesn't jump up to a smoker rate. So if you're a smoker looking at permanent life insurance, that's a really good option. And the last one is something known as simplified issue insurance. So simplified issue insurance is a really good option for people that have a few things maybe going against them with what's known as a traditional life insurance option. And that's where you would do a full underwriting, you would do a medical exam where you would start to dig into the nitty gritty details of exactly who you are, what your lifestyle habits are, maybe what your financial habits are, your driving record and your health conditions. Now, if you had anything working against you, again, in that regard, that's where you may want to look at a simplified product. So that would be really good for individuals that maybe have adverse health conditions. Maybe they're engaged in an extreme sport. Maybe they're just looking for something that doesn't require a medical exam. They don't want to have any blood or take any paramedical exam or anything like that. Simplified issue products are going to be more expensive. However, depending on why you're choosing it, it actually may be more preferential in the long run. So my top four picks for that are CPP, Humania, Assumption Life, and Industrial Alliance. I would say those are the four best simplified issue life insurance companies here in Canada. But if I had to put one on top, I would probably put CPP, which is not Canadian Pension Plan. It's actually standing for uh, Canada Protection Plan. And it's a great company. I would highly recommend them if you're looking at a type of simplified issue product. So at the end of the day, how do you know which company to pick? Well, I would say number one, work with a broker or at least a company that has access to multiple different insurance companies. So you can then start to kind of compare the different prices and see, well, why would I pick this one over this one? And maybe talk with a broker and say, does this company have anything specific that's better than this other company? But at the end of the day, making sure that you're working with a broker is going to be your best option and your best bet to picking the best in life insurance company in Canada. And I would say this, so avoid analysis paralysis. The second best company is still going to be just as good for life insurance at the end of the day, if it's a few dollars more, it's still going to be just as good. Like I mentioned, insurance is so heavily regulated here in Canada. They're all on the same playing field. So some might have a few other features than the other company. Some might be a few dollars more expensive than another company. But at the end of the day, they're still all on the same playing field. And don't just sit and wait and try and Google everything and make sure and look at all the reviews. And at the end of the day, you don't do anything. The second best company is going to be just as good.
And again, if you're interested in looking at multiple different companies online, you can visit affinitylight.ca and the description is in the link below where you can, again, instantly see these quotes from multiple different companies and apply 100% online. But I think that's all I can say about this. If you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comments below. And if you guys are enjoying this content, all I ask is that you give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next one.